guys, it's Taz over here. One more Taz, little two cast. I'm here with Erilyn. How you doing? Hey. Hi. Thanks for inviting me. I'm doing good. Did I say it right this time? <laughs> uh, works. Oh, okay. It works. It works. So you are a gamer. So uh, just tell me, oh, uh, what type of uh, what type of games are you into? I really like MMORPGs. I have some like sandbox games or finale. Well, Basically, yeah. any game that immerses me in a world for a while, I'm good for it. All right, all right. So that I mean, stuff like Warcraft too, and like World of Warcraft, because I, I I'm a big Blizzard guy. Yes, I want to go BlizzCon like, yeah, one year. Actually, that's there's talk about going to BlizzCon. Um, so yeah, World of Warcraft is where I got started with Blizzard stuff. I really enjoy Overwatch, and Destiny Two isn't Blizzard, but Blizzard likes to handle the online stuff for that. I like to. I'll say this. I said this to my girlfriend. She didn't really understood. I said, she goes, I'm like, I want to go BlizzCon. She goes, Why do you want to go BlizzCon? And I'm like, Overwatch. And she's like, What's Overwatch? And I'm like. Here, sweetie, and then put plop her down in front of the TV, and then have her play a couple games of Overwatch. Touch an ass! And I'm like, yeah, is it awesome? And then she goes, no! And I'm like, um, yeah, sweetie, um, I don't like it for that, just that. Mind you, there's a lot of kick-ass, like, cosplays that people do. I'm gonna get so many photos, and she's like, I'll wear something scapey to Comic-Con, and I'm like, so, you're gonna be with me. <laughs> it was kind of it just kind of like smacked down her uh, whole idea of that. But uh, where are you gaming from? Where in the world I'm is? Gaming. I was gonna I say gaming from Pennsylvania. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say like where you, <laughs> I was gonna ask where are you gaming from and be like where in the world is Con San Diego? Just kidding. just kidding. We're still trying to figure it out. San Diego, get it straight. Okay. All right. That's a game I used to love to play back in the day too, back on MS DOS Windows 3.1. They actually like they, the original Where in the World, yeah. That they was actually good. had a TV show called Where in the World is San Diego, and it was like a, a kids TV like game show thing. And I'm like, oh okay, I guess it works. I guess I remember watching the little itty bitty cartoon they had of it. I never watched the cartoon. I did play the game, and I had to pull encyclopedias off my parents' bookshelf because the internet did not exist then, and that was the only way for me to figure out where she was hiding. How long <laughs> is, how long is the wall of China? It's like, oh shit. Yeah. Damn it. You, you needed to know details like that, so I used an encyclopedia set my parents had. Yeah, the but, then, but then you're kind of like, oh, because when he goes, how many cups does it take to get to the moon? It's like, ah! <laughs> Damn! Yeah. Dad, what's that? that? I mean, that was my first grade self there, you know, making making the best that I could. Sorry, of it. kid, this is why you stay in astrology. <laughs> but um yeah, <laughs> exactly. so so uh so uh what 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 do you broadcast to? Like are you on Twitch? Are you on YouTube? What are you on? I am on Twitch. I have been considering setting up a YouTube channel, but it hasn't happened yet. Sometime in the future. Okay, and then there's, there's some word on the street that you are Guildmaster. Now, tell this us a little bit about that. I have been guild master for about 10 years. My guild was founded in 2007 and in World of Warcraft. Around 2013, we decided to branch out into multiple games because World of Warcraft, it's it's a fun game, but you know it's not the be-all, end-all game it used to be. Yeah. So we have branches in Guild Wars 2. We play Overwatch, Destiny 2, God, Conan Exiles, Minecraft. It list goes on, list goes on. It's a, yeah, it's a... the list goes on and on. Basically, you join the guild through one of the games that we recruit in, and then you are connected to a network of people where you can play whatever game you feel. Okay, you that's always a, find something that's to a, play with. That's awesome. I swear to God, like War, like Warcraft, it friggin' stopped for me after Frozen Throne, and I am so behind. So I don't even like want to step first. Like, I don't want to take the first tippy toe into the world of Warcraft because I'm like, oh, I don't know anything. And yeah, I'm like, my favorite character. Okay, who is your favorite character out of the heroes in in Warcraft? Okay, so when you say heroes versus villains, you said heroes. Heroes. Right? Heroes. That's hard. Right now, though. Yeah. I like Jaina Proudmore. I like what she's doing right now. Okay. Okay. I like Murd and Bronzebeard. No one yeah, messes yeah. with a dwarf. No one messes with a dwarf. Actually, I was hanging out with his brother today when I was questing in the game. I was hanging out with his brother Bran. You gotta love the bronze beards. Yes, the bronze beards are awesome. I love the bronze beards. But um, yeah. um who is your favorite villain then? Sylvanas. 
I like. Oh, she's just delectable. She really is. I like. I- I'm sorry, but I like. Uh, um, I like. Uh, like when when friggin' like Ar- Arthas went badass and then he killed the king. I thought that was yeah. messed up. Sorry, guys. TMI. <laughs> Yeah, oh, spoilers, spoilers! Spoilers! Yeah, it's, TMI. I, yes. I think my close runner-up to Jaina when it comes to heroes, I really like Cadgar, and I, I miss him. We, we used to spend a lot of time with Cadgar as a character, and uh, sadly, he's, he's not dead. Don't worry, I, I, I won't spoil that, but he's currently not a main character in the game, and I miss him. He's, he's like that college buddy. You know, it's like I graduated from college, and Cadgar is a super senior, and he's still left in college. That's what it feels like right now. Cadgar did not learn not did not learn arithmetic. I was only give I was only given abacus. <laughs> and it's like and then you look in the <laughs> car uh, we're in the world of Carmen say yeah, hey, go. Hmm, maybe look in the dictionary. What is an abacus? Oh, now I see. <laughs> Cad Cadgar, like he's he's the kind of guy that he's he's your old friend that never grew up. And his solution to everything is absolutely insane. It does work, but you might die. It's mm-hmm. kinda like the, it's kinda like the junk rat of of Warcraft. Yeah, but a little. He's definitely intelligent. It's not that Junkrat isn't Junkrat, intelligent. Junkrat, I'll say that Junkrat's he doesn't not think things are intelligent. He's like, all right, if things don't work, blow it up again. You know. Yeah, exactly. You've seen the short with him and Roadhog, right? Like, yeah. Junkrat's a delight, but he, not he, the brightest crayon in the box. Yes, not the brightest cookie in the bag. He's no, the one. He's the one where he's kind of like the deformed Oreo of the bag. Sorry, Oreo. I'm sorry. I'm not. Spo- I'm not sponsored by Oreo, but Nabisco. But yes, come on, guys. It is a good cookie. Trust me. It, it is a good cookie. It is a good cookie. I'm partial to Reese's, though. If we have to go candy Cheers or cookies. Up. The cavalry's here. Yes, I. Lo- I love Overwatch. Overwatch is amazing. I. My favorite character has to be Hanzo. Who's your? Who is yours? Uh, Hanzo. Uh, Overwatch is my first FPS since God, Perfect Dark. That's how wow. long ago. Golden Axe I love. Sorry, I'm really happy that they came out with the rare replay. Yeah. And I, oh, I've not played it yet. Oh, it's, I it, want to. It's good. It's good. You should definitely pick it up. It's definitely because you get like Banjo Kazooie, like Conker's Bad Fur Day, all the lovely ones, guys. If if you guys haven't, I'll have to check it out. if you guys like look in the markets, because you know what. Um, the rare replay, it's actually, I don't know what the price is now, but I'm saying this, guys, it's a worth collection because you get 10 games of the best, 10, 15, I don't know how many games it was, but I forget. Don't, don't, don't take my word for it. You get a bunch of the rare games that you're, that you loved, grew up and loved. I would, I would really play Perfect Dark, because that game I played obsessively as a kid. And as, as for my favorite Overwatch player, Ana. Ana? And Moira, and D.Va. Yeah. Good stuff. Yes, I'm like, I like to, I like to, I like to, um, I like to, uh, was it troll with Anna? Because I'll be like, I'm, I'm going to get you, you young whipper stepper! And then, like, out of nowhere, then I, like, I, I always put the sleep, I always use the sleep gun and then take them out. Have yes. them sleeping, and I'm like, oh, you sleep, you sleep. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. And then when I get kind of bored, then I'm just like, Yes, I just want that one time when I'm streaming. I want someone from the Over Overwatch cast to go on my stream one time, one time, and talk and say something. Cause I heard they do that. Really, I did not. I've not actually um, streamed Overwatch yet. I did try to do that in the beginning, but my internet connection was not up for it. These days, it is. I could give it a shot now. Maybe it'll swing back. I swear to God, like I actually heard this, like uh, I-, I heard this from a friend. I'm not sure. It's not. No, don't take my word for it. But uh, yeah, um, the actual Overwatch voice actors do play the game quite readily. And the fact is, they'll jump in people's Overwatch streams and screw with them. I but- would super hang with Lucio all day. No, I would. I I, I would. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> It would be no. It'd be a good time, and it, like, and you know what? Let's bring McCree to that party as well. Yes, I just want. And, I, and Reaper can just jump in the corner. Spread my ass. No, Reaper, that was too much. <laughs> that was too much. Okay, Reaper, okay, that's too much. He's Reaper. not allowed to be in the corner. He's not allowed to be anywhere. <laughs> not, if, not if that's what it's gonna be too. If it's gonna, if it's gonna be, if it's gonna come to that, I'm like. Oh, let's break it down. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. We're gonna go crank this up, Lucio. Yes, but um, when you got into streaming, uh, have you made any uh, like, did you uh, make any mistakes, like uh, technical, like, you know, something happened with your audio, video, or recording, like, is something screwed up? 
There was actually one of my more retweeted um, tweets on Twitter when I confessed to Twitch bloopers. And my Twitch blooper was, I totally talked for a solid 30 seconds before I realized that at the beginning of my stream, I didn't have any sound on. But you know what? It's fine. At that point, I was only three weeks into streaming. I'm, I'm hitting my third month right now. Awesome. So awesome. there are That's plenty amazing. more mistakes to be had. Yes, that's amazing. Ain't nobody got... That's amazing, you know. It's, it's, yeah, everyone give a round of applause. That's amazing. Yes. So, um, I'm just going to say, uh, like, why'd you get into streaming in the first place? I've always wanted to do it. I, I play a lot of games. And as mentioned before, I'm a guild master. So I, I'm connected to a lot of people who play games. And people started getting into streaming. And I thought to myself, I know I would like this. It would be fun. Should I do it? And it, I, it actually, I spent a good part of this year thinking about it until finally I said, screw it. And I just pulled the trigger and just did it. Sometimes it's just like, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta get, screw it. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm going to Charlie Buff and I'm just doing it. I'm doing it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It was one of those moments where I'm like, I'm overthinking this and let's just try it, see what happens and let's have fun. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, do you have, uh, I mean, general advice. Do you have any advice for my audience? For Twitch streaming? Gaming? Uh, in general, it doesn't have to be Twitch, it could be all around, you know, advice that people can use. Sure. Well, okay, guys, on Twitch, um, keep in mind, I've only been on Twitch for three months, right? So I'm not the end-all be-all of advice, but the follow for a follow thing, the numbers game, everybody at some point kind of gets involved in that. And it's a great way to kind of get started, but it's honestly... The most fun I've had is just really investing time getting to know specific streamers. I, I can't, I don't have time to get to know everybody. You know, I, I no. got a full-time job. I got a guild to run. I got shit to do. I, I already have a lot of people that I talk to a lot. So, but I have pick out five streamers who are doing things that you like and watch their streams, get to know them, throw bits at them, throw follows at them, subs, and just do it. Because you know what? I had a great day today. Because in the middle of my day, my, twi my Twitch Prime sub came up. And the first thing I did was run over to the stream of, of somebody who's in Europe. And she was streaming today. And I said, hey, girly, guess what? My sub is up. I'm a sub into you. And I, it made her day. Yeah. And I knew it did. Like it's, and I had been planning to sub for her for a while. I was just waiting for it to happen. And it was, it was honestly good. She was so happy. It made her day. Uh. And she did the same to me. And it just, I don't know, look for real genuine connections the follow for follow game it's a nice quick way to get follows but it's it's not going to feel like today felt no no it's not it, well. it, it, it maybe when you're first doing you're like oh god yes it's nothing it's just after a while it's kind you're kind of lying to yourself because uh half the people that do follow no no offense guys about followers out there but i'm saying this they don't necessarily watch the stream like i heard that there are three types of followers on Twitch. People that will follow you because you're playing this game and it looks really interesting, or people that will follow you because they know you and they'll give you a follow for the hell of it, or the people that will follow you because they genuinely like you. Yeah. I think the one, the ones, the last ones, the fourth one out of those four, the, that one's going to be the one that you want. Yeah, because that'll carry into different games. Yeah. It'll carry with you wherever you are, if they like you as a person. And it's, it's one of those things where, you know, I, I did a couple follow for follows as well because I, I wasn't, I was kind of figuring out how to network it. And believe it or not, though, one thing about follow for follow, though, some of the people whom I've met that I've actually become friends with happened because of follow for follow. So it's not altogether evil, but yeah, it it's is not, not your only method. No, I th it was people out there that, I, I, mean, that I, general, I mean, in general, and people that meet, use it as their method, like their go to, yeah. it's like, do it as a starting oh, point. No. But I'll say this, guys, it, after a while, like, you can meet some really good people. But I find that, you know, it's some, some of the people that fall for follow, like I found in the past, of my experience, I'm not sure about yours, but you know what? They follow for so long, and then until, like, they're, um, yeah, you could be doing awesome, and the fact is, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, fall for follow, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of doing it. But they're like, yeah, but they're, they're, they're wanting what your, like, your connection to your audience they want to understand what's your secret or how do you do that or do I, how do I get there? There's no easy there's no easy answer to that. It's just be a good person and just make a connection with your audience. 
yeah. and engage in the audience. That's going to be different with every person. Exactly, and and I'll say this: if you engage in the audience and stream, and when you're when you're chatting with people, hell, you know what? People, they're the best way that you can learn that your stream's actually doing good. They can tell you when your your volume's off or your 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 game's not capturing or whatnot. They can tell you these things. But yes, yeah, when you're when you're shooting the breeze and having a good time and people feel involved, that's 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 a sweet spot. I mean, yeah. earlier today in my stream, we actually uh, three of us all found out that we all want to do a charity stream, and we started brainstorming maybe doing a charity stream in the future. These were two people that one month ago I didn't know, but now we're already planning some charity streams. And that I mean, it's just that's exactly what I got there to do. That's what I love about like they have packs and they have. Like, you know, um, they have BlizzCon, they have all these different cons, like Ubisoft North and everything. Like, I'll say this, you get in a huge group of pe uh, people, and then you all have something in common. You love to game, and maybe it could be different games, but the people that you meet, or the people that, you know, you talk to, and they actually have the same passions, they love the game as much as you do. Um, when you're talking to them, everything's making sense, and you... Those people you become really good friends with, because you all exactly. have a common a common goal or a common you know like. The way I like to put it is, you know, we're we're engaging in our favorite hobby, we're sharing it with others, and we're chasing the dream. All right. Yeah. For everybody, it's not a competition in this in this thing. It really is not. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you. Yes, A Ariel, thank you for not L. Sorry. Erilyn, thank you for being on the show. Erilyn or Ariolin? Either one's fine. Like whatever, I'll go with that. All right, thank yeah, you, Ari. Thank I'm you for... not picky about the pronunciation. Ten years old. Arr! Arr! Thank you for not being on the show. Thank you for being on the show. All right, so guys. All right, guys. Like I always say, you know what? That's all the time we have for today. But no, check out. Erlen, check her out in the description below. And yes, guys, you know what? Please leave me a like because I like bacon. You like bacon. We all like bacon. Now, Peter, step off because you know what? I'm Canadian. It makes sense. You know what? I'm not me without my bacon. And trust me, my girlfriend, she understands that. It's not pretty when I don't get my bacon in the morning. And trust me, don't ask my girlfriend anything because I swear to God, don't, she she's going to say I'm not pretty in the morning anyways. <laughs> so guys, please, please, please hit that notification bell so you stay up to date to all of my videos. And I'll see you guys next time, guys. See you guys!